So Carrie and Emerald, congratulations on Promising Young Woman. This film blew me away. Oh. Absolutely. Thank um, you. I suppose my first question that I wanted to ask you about the subject matter of this film, it is so dense. I was wondering what is your motivation with this film? Is it to kind of educate, is it to start a discussion? And where does entertainment kind of fit into that as well? Do you know, I, I, it's such an interesting question. I definitely, you know, never wanted to make a film that was didactic or preachy. Um, you know, I, I guess I wanted to make a revenge movie with a with a female character at, at its centre. And it just so happened that the kind of inciting incident for the revenge is something I think that we're all increasingly familiar with right now. Um, but I don't think any movie really should be medicine or should be a lecture. This, this is, um, you know, it was important to me that it was as reflective of life as possible, which is that life is romantic and funny and sexy and beautiful and also a nightmare. Um, and I think that's, you know, I think that's hopefully what it is. And for you, Carrie, it is like your character. It's such a dark headspace to get into I'd imagine how do you achieve that balance of kind of giving all that you have to a role because I know you've done kind of psychologically quite demanding roles in the past giving all that you can but then also like being able to step away from that darkness and kind of putting it behind you I've always sort of done sort of tasking psychological oh my career sounds so depressing but I have done like, <laughs> I've, I've, all, I've sort of lent towards the drama because I really like it and I find it sort of interesting to you know, to look at the lengths that people, you know, the, the stretches that can happen to your brain and, and the way in which you can sort of be tested by life. And, and I like sort of diving into all of that stuff, I, you know, probably a bit too much. Um, but I never, the only thing I ever take home is if I feel like I haven't done well um, or I haven't done something the way I wanted to or I feel like I've sort of couldn't find the moment or didn't feel kind of which in it. has never which never happens, we had that on set though yeah, day but, where I was like Emerald I it, can't but act yeah but yeah. also the thing about Kerry I should say that she probably can't say herself um, is that she's one of the very rare remarkable people who it's almost like she almost goes into it's sort of takes possession of her so rather than there are lots of actors and and i don't think it's right or wrong but who are method who are in it all day all day because that's how they get there but for carrie she is so much herself and then suddenly she's cassie i mean it's so quick it is like a possession and i think that that is what is so remarkable it's such an innate kind of molecular thing for her um and so that means certainly for us on set, it's like we get the best of both worlds. We get the greatest actress in the world who's literally the character of Cassie, but then also a real legend uh, between takes who's really fun and scary. So it's great. Cassie is just such a phenomenal character. And what I found really interesting in this movie is that it feels like she's not just out for vengeance for one woman. She's avenging really the women of the world. Mm. Did you feel the kind of, that kind of weight and responsibility with the role? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's I, yeah, I kind of veer in and out of it. Sometimes I sort of, I, I try when I'm sort of in the middle of something just to think solely about that person's experience and not, you know, it was the same when I was doing Suffragette. I didn't want to think like I'm carrying the whole woman's movement on my back. I just want to think about what Maud is doing, how she's getting by day to day and, and navigate her world. Um, so I don't think I felt, a, I felt a responsibility to be truthful and to try and tell the story in the most honest way. And not having experienced what Cassie's experienced, obviously, you want to sort of um, try and make that real. And that involves sort of being open, listening, reading, trying to sort of garner experience without actually having to sort of talk to anyone, you know, have them relive their own experience. Um, but, yeah, I think it was just about sort of trying to be honest in her and... Um, and that's the most important thing. And uh, and this story is real. It's real to her. It's real to millions of women all over the world. And so there is that responsibility. But when we were shooting it, I tried to sort of solely focus on what she what what she was going through and not feel the weight of any kind of. It didn't feel like that. It felt so intimate and um, wonderful when we were filming. My very last question for you was: I think that um, this is such a phenomenal movie; everyone should see it. But my fear was that, oh gosh, what if there's going to be like a backlash against this? Like, you know, there's this whole not all men thing going around at the moment. So I suppose I was wondering: were you considering the reverberations when you were making this movie, or were you just thinking this subject matter is too important? I have to push through. No, I mean, I think honestly, the thing for me is that, 
look, like male directors, like male actors, like male characters, we should just make whatever we want. Mm -hmm. We should make stuff we think's good. And I think that this movie is accessible to everyone. It's a thriller and a comedy and a horror. Um, and, you know, it's interesting how we politicize women's work, women's bodies, you know, um, there are lots and lots of revenge movies where male protagonists go on a sort of, you know, similar kind of journey. And, and we very rarely ask as a society, you know, if the filmmaker has been on that journey or the, you know, mm. so, so I, think, I think the thing is, is that I hope that the film provokes discussion in the way that I, uh, the, all of the movies that I love do. But, um, but you know, I, I, I guess up to a point, you you make the thing, and you sort of put it out there, and you just hope that people like it. And you have, I, I learned quite early on, I have no control over. You know, we have no control over what people think about it. Yeah. Um, but certainly, so far, it's been really amazing how men have responded to it, women, um, people of all ages, you know, from all places. I think I think we all of us respond to something that feels real and mm. truthful and also something that's been made to be enjoyable. Mm. You know, this film is supposed this is a this is a movie that is should be gripping and surprising and all the things I hope are good movie should be yeah. yeah i can't wait for everyone to see it i think we'll have to leave it there <laughs> oh, but congratulations so again it's just such a phenomenal movie thank oh I loved god it. that's loved so it. kind thank, thank you. you honestly it means so much